December 20th, 1988. Vasula speaks. Lord. The Lord answers. I am. She says, O oh God. The footnote reads, Jesus answered, I am, with such fervour and love. The Lord speaks. Vasula, embrace my cross. Share it with me. My cross will lead you into my domain. Reside in my sacred heart. Creep into its depths and you will find peace. My child, pray for your brothers that have abandoned me and are only captivated by the worldly riches. Pray for those lost souls who fear my cross. Pray, my child, for my church to unite and be one. Every priest has to understand that I, the Lord, desire this unity. Any division does not come from me. It comes from my adversary. My kingdom should be one and holy. Vasula speaks, Lord? The Lord answers, I am. Vasula speaks, Lord, the few Greek Orthodox priests who read a few pages of your revelation that you are giving me do not agree about unity. As soon as they read that it's about uniting with the Pope, they become allergic and say this revelation is devilish. One lady, Greek Orthodox, after reading this revelation, with good will went to a Catholic church. When her confessor heard this, he condemned the revelation as coming from Satan, then excommunicated her. He did not want to hear of unity. But many Greek Orthodox laymen are willing because they read your revelation, they understand, and they know you desire it. But the Greek Orthodox priests get infuriated. The Lord speaks. Do I not know all this, my child? My thoughts are not their thoughts. My ways are not their ways. They are burdening me with their sins, and they do not see clear any more. Unity shall come from above. For now as it is, you are divided altogether, and do not live according to my divine image. You are not obeying my law. Your division is contaminating and is spreading. Your division will always remain. Unless I put an end to it, it shall not be overcome. How could you believe that you can unite since love is missing among you? Many of you are inflexible and stiff like iron rods. But I shall bend you all. I will unite you. I shall turn this wilderness into a lake and the dry ground into a water spring. Then I shall place you all in this new earth, beloved ones, and my kingdom on earth shall be as it is in heaven. My kingdom shall come. Oh, how I long now for this new era. You will live all in perfect unity under my holy name. And I, who am the supreme source of life, shall regenerate you all into one holy people. From above my divine image shall reflect on you like a mirror, and you will understand that I, the Holy of Holies, restored you once again. Scriptures are being fulfilled. Wisdom shall not wait. She will cultivate my people like a ploughman and a sower. She will cultivate the earth's aridity into fields. I will till her and yield her fields into fields of peace and love. I am the light of this world and I will always descend to wherever I see you covered in obscurity. Vasula speaks. Lord, there are some ministers who refuse to hear or believe that you can manifest yourself like this through me. They say that you, Jesus, have brought us all the truth and they need nothing else but the Holy Bible. In other words, all these works are false. The Lord speaks. 
I have said to you all that the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all I have said to you. I am not giving you any new doctrine. I am only reminding you of the truth and leading those who wandered astray back to the complete truth. I, the Lord, will keep stirring you up with reminders and my Holy Spirit, the Advocate, will always be among you as the reminder of my word. So do not be astonished when my Holy Spirit speaks to you. These reminders are given by my grace to convert you and to remind you of my ways. Come, smile at me when you see me, flower. Vasula speaks. Ah, Lord, blessed be your name. Thank you for your teachings. The Lord speaks. Wisdom will instruct you, child. We, us? Fasula answers, forever and ever. 